What are you doing, dude? Sit down on the ground. And I'll bring the car I do nothing. In Yuba City, California, police say that man drove drunk and is now resisting. Quit it! That's hard it's dude. called pain here. compliance. That when hurts, you dude. stop resisting... Ow, ow! I'm not resisting! Why are you doing this? Because you're just not going with the program. <clears throat> I am! Quit hurting me. You're hurting me right now. I'm not you're hurting, hurting you. me, dude. You're hurting me. That hurts. That hurts. The man being hurt is 65-year-old U.S. Army veteran Gregory Gross. Jake, Jake, Jake Mr. Gross, hurt. listen to me. Quit f***ing with me. I'm not f***ing with you. Yeah, you are. You I'm telling did. you the way this is going to go. Would you like to shut your mouth and listen? You are not in control of this situation. You are under arrest for hit and run and DUI. You are about to get placed into a patrol car. I was going to walk you over there, but you decided you didn't want to go with the program. I so was, now you're sitting here like a three-year-old. This incident from April 2020 led to a use of force lawsuit because during this arrest, police broke Mr. Gross's neck, paralyzing him from the waist down. In a moment, I'm going to stand you up. You can cooperate with that, or we can do more. After police took Mr. Gross to the hospital and removed him from the squad car along the front sidewalk, Gross fell down again. Officers did not believe him when he said he could not stand up. And we've done it again. Keep doing this. <coughs> I can't breathe. Are we gonna keep doing I this? Can't breathe. You're talking. You're I breathing. Breathe. You're talking. You can breathe. Uh, uh. Okay, let's stand up. Stand up. Put on your big boy pants. You want to act like a man? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, please. That'd be up, please. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, you're banned. Be a man. I, I can't feel my legs. You can feel your legs. All right, there's a wheelchair right behind you. You get to sit. Stand up. I can't feel my legs, dude. I'm tired. I can't feel my legs. They're gone. They're gone. I can't feel my legs. Come on. With a bloody face, Gross was wheeled into the hospital. Along the way, police continued to mock him. I can't, I can't feel my arms, sir. Mr. Gross? Mr. Gross, we are done with your silly little games. <laughs> he uh, was assisted to the ground. Now, three years later, Gross has settled his lawsuit with the Yuba City Police. The police department is paying him $20 million. At a news conference announcing the settlement, Yuba City Police Chief Brian Baker apologized to Gross. Unfortunately, on April 12, 2020, we missed the mark. And for that, Mr. Gross, I'm sorry. Chief Baker also said this incident has prompted changes to department policies and training. We have regular random audits of body cam footage from our interactions with our community members. We have implemented and are utilizing an early warning system to monitor the use of force by our officers. As for Gregory Gross, he said he is still in disbelief over the initial police interaction. Can you oh, stop resisting? Ow, ow, I'm not resisting! I couldn't understand how someone could be in a position of authority and was acting like that and treating another human being like that. Mm. Regarding the original charges, Gross pleaded no contest to the DUI. The other charge of resisting a police officer was dropped. As for the officer who broke Gross's neck, the Yuba City Police Department says that officer no longer works for the department. However, there's nothing under California law or federal law that prevents another police department from hiring that cop. Finally, the settlement of $20 million is one of the largest police misconduct settlements in California history. The money will come from an insurance policy that police departments and municipalities are required to keep. And while the insurance premiums for Yuba City will undoubtedly go up, those costs will be paid for by local taxpayers. By the way, in New Jersey, a dangerous Karen cop recently got shamed.
Yeah, let's keep it a cordial conversation. It is a cordial this, conversation, is this a, but you're trying to run this conversation. And that's not how this is going to Is this go. a consensual conversation? Yeah, absolutely. Well, then you have a nice day. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.